Hey, once somebody gets on, let me know if they can hear and see me. Okay, please. In the meantime, I'm just going to drum up some business. Craig and Expert Web Design both say, hey, hello, gentlemen. Expert Web Design says he can see and hear me. That's good. I always ask, but and I'm almost always good, but I did have one ages ago where I talked to myself for a good 10 minutes, and nobody bothered to tell me. So we don't want that. You guys might want that. I don't want that. Craig says, oh, snap, top fan. Yes, sir. In fact, a couple of you that are on right now are top fans. Charlene says, hi, Chris. Hello, Charlene. Can hear and see just fine. Good, good. Simo says, hello, hello. What's up, Simo? Everybody's June is starting well, and everyone's safe. I was going to pretend I couldn't see you. <laughs> How are you going to do that, though? I guess you can pretend you could hear me. You could hear me, but not see me. Charlene says that one time you don't ask yourself for ten minutes. Exactly, that has happened before. Justin says, "Hey, hey, Justin, good to see you." Tomislav says aloha. What's up, Tomislav? Always a pleasure. Just going to go do a little bit of sharing while some more folks roll in. But it seems like we got a good crowd gathering today, considering I haven't even shared the link yet. People must really be sick of crappy marketers. I know I am. So what's everybody up to today? How's it going? What's shaking? What's good? Other things. Hope that you were here on Monday for my interview with Saket Wahi. He he, uh, he had some great insight on to, and and the PBNs and link building and so on. So, what's going on with the looting? Is it new? You is it as bad as the UK media is making out? My town had some mild protests on Sunday, and they gave us a six o'clock curfew that night, but. Since then, it's been okay. The rest of the country, is particularly the big cities, I haven't been to them, so I'm getting the same news that you are, but it's been pretty ugly in some places, unfortunately. Good gosh, just read the description for today's live. Should be interesting. Have always disliked non-value-add marketers who say they're adding value. Just because you say you are doesn't mean you are. Good Lord, yes. CMOS has got a client in real life. So excited. Awesome. Congratulations. Good for you. And good for your client, whether they know it or not or yet, which I assume they do if they hired you. So if anybody has any, wants any real marketing advice, I'm, that's kind of what I want to do today. And I'll, of course, talk about a little bit about what we want to start looking out for and the kind of people you want to avoid. I'm not going to turn this into some kind of coffeezilla, call out the fake guru crap, because most of the people that he calls fake gurus are actually good people that are selling good courses. Waslis says, boom, I'm not late today. Haha, <laughs> hope everyone is doing well. Charlene says, yay, Simo. Next week, I'm being 
I'm speaking on in an online summit on the topic of social selling. I don't really have a link for it, but I'll try to get one for next time. Like the video, whilst I said it first this time, outplaying you. Oh, got a little competition going on here. Expert Web Design says, congratulations, Simo. Wassa says, yeah, I think Sam Ovens, for example, has some pretty good advice. I do too. I think that the people that, and again, I'm talking in generalizations. So just keep that in mind. But a lot of people that follow him have really missed the point and have done a lot of damage to both the people that hire them and to the, in, the perception of people in our industry in general. For example, in his uh, his, his free version of his consulting group the other day, somebody asked, it, I forget what niche they listed, but they said, my niche is, I'm interested in is whatever. Uh, do you think it's a good one? Some people said yes, some people said no. One guy was like, you shouldn't spend more than two hours deciding the niche that you go into. Anything else is just wasted time. And I'm like, you're seriously telling me that people should start a business? in an industry that they thought about for two hours. That's so dishonest and so unethical that I can't even, I just can't even. And then there was another one in there that was talking about how he wasn't targeting his in the beginning, how he was targeting the wrong audience. And he talked about how he pitched a $5,000 social media service to some company and they turned him down. And in that same post, he said he had no experience and no case studies to show. So I was like, good, I'm glad they turned you down. You were, and you were pitching the wrong audience. You were pitching people that are smart enough not to pay somebody $5,000 a month that has no idea what they're doing. And I got flamed for that, but that's fine. I'm right and they're wrong. That's what matters. Uh, Swasslist says, Simo, damn, you got it ahead of me. Haha, <laughs> congratulations on your client. Simo says, Wasslis, you thank you. I was going to send over a client for you, by the way, but he turned out to not be very serious. Hector says, laugh out loud two hours. Right? I was like appalled. And he said that. And he got like seven, like whatever, positive reactions. I'm like, no, you need to, first of all, you shouldn't be selling consulting on anything that you don't know well enough to consult on. There's a reason that I have an application for my consulting service. And that's because I don't, Sorry, I lost my train of thought. That's because I don't know everything and I, I'm not going to charge somebody money to give them advice on something where I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. It's the bot, it's like the most unethical thing in the world. Maybe not in the world, but in, in the industry. And that group, I actually ended up dipping out of that group because it's nothing but value adders and amateurs that have no business selling services. Amro says, hello, New York. <laughs> New York looting folks are selling ATMs over eBay. Yeah, I don't know what to say about that. All right, some people taking things too seriously. The simplicity thing, I think, is meant more for once you actually know what you want to do. Not sure what you mean. Simo, no problem. And thanks, though. I still really appreciate it. Yeah, I have actually advised him to have you guys team up because he's very good at graphic design and like visual content. And you're very good at like text content and scheduling it and stuff like that. So I think it would make a great tag team. But what do I know? And, you know, don't get me wrong, it, there are ways to provide value for free that are genuine and can, in fact, help you. Like uh, my friend Nico, I don't think he does it anymore, but that's kind of how he built his whole business. He would just post stuff that he thought was helpful and with no intent of like low key trying to get people to DM him. And he ended up building a really, really nice business, you know, and Jeff, the uh one of the coaches in Superstar SEO Academy, available at learnhowtorank.com, because I have to. He, uh, the way I got to know him is because he was in the Superstar SEO group, and he would just go in and be helpful and answer questions. And when I realized that I needed a second coach, 
to be able to launch a training. He was the first person I went to because people had come to respect him and he obviously had a talent for being helpful and actually providing value and not just hiding the fact that he was selling something, which he wasn't. I meant about the Sam Ovens thing where he always says you have to not think and stuff like that. Yeah, I think that I think I know what Sam means by that. And I think that people take the wrong message from it. Thanks, Chris. Partnership is looking promising. Last list, Pat, uh, Sam is a great guy. And I think we're going to make a great team if things went smooth. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Kumal says, how can I find my potential customer? Well, I assume that you already have a type of business and an idea of who you wish to serve. If not, that needs to be your first step. So you need to figure out, you probably sell some sort of service or product and it solves a problem of some sort for somebody. If, if I'm wrong about that, then we need to work on that. But if I'm right about that, then you need to ask yourself, where do those people hang out? What do they like? What do they respond to? How can I get in front of them for free and then later target them with advertising? Or if you have a big enough budget, how can I target them with advertising right away? So you had to first identify who your potential customer is. And I assume that at least to some degree that you know that without knowing more about what you do, it's a little tough to say, but I assume that you know that to some degree. And I'm almost done, guys. I'll be able to look at the camera. I know that's distracting. Um, then you need to identify what pain points they have. So whether it's they can't get more customers, whether they can't make a logo for themselves, whatever it is that you sell, you need to figure out what, how what you have solves their pain point. And then you can figure out where they are, whether it's forums, whether it's you know, meetup groups, whether it's whatever. So if you want to give me a specific example of like the niche that you're in or the product that, or service you sell, I can give you a little bit more specific advice. But generally based on the niche that you're in, you should be able to identify who your customer is and then reverse engineer where they hang out. Amro says, I've always been wondering about the ad spot on legit emails. What's the pricing and how to order? You can check out, we got, I don't want to go into all of them because there's a ton a ton of different options, but if you go to, I'll drop the link in the chat, advertise.legit.com, you'll see all the different advertising options we have. Also, if you ever click that banner, it'll take you right to this page as well. Just give me one second here. Uh, oh yeah, when I joined Legit, I had a fake name at first. I thought most freelancers do. I I don't really know. I mean, maybe on other platforms, most of ours use either a brand name or their real name though. I think it's important. I think it's a big trust factor. I also get why you might not want to, you know, but I think if you can, you should. I actually went to look for you on Facebook the other day. I was like, I don't even know this cat's real name, so. Uh, Simo said, you are too. I should be ready to start that service with you this month. Look at that. That makes me happy. Hector says, when did you know it was time to start hiring? Much later than it, when it was actually time to start hiring. Uh, when I got to the point where I wanted to do more than basically the services business, the, like the marketplace services business was cons consuming my whole time because I was doing all the fulfillment, all the marketing, all the everything for it. And it got to the point where I couldn't handle my clients and I couldn't do my Facebook group and YouTube and my courses. And I just, I was like, okay, I'm been, I've had people telling me for, you know, two years, I need to hire someone. And I did. And fortunately I met, uh, met Georgie through a friend of ours, a mutual friend of ours. And uh, man, he's just, I can't speak highly enough of him except for when he's listening. <laughs> so really it's when the point where, it's basically a math calculation, right? It's the point where the, the money that you pay them will be replaced more by the amount of money in the time that you'll save from not doing what you hire them to do. And I know that's a little bit abstract, but I think it's, I think that's the right answer. Uptel says, I'm new to your marketplace. I have an account. That's exactly what it is. Not sure if there's a question there, but welcome to legit. 
Wassila says, just hit me up whenever ready, preferably next month if that's not a problem. Exams are getting closer. I'm still a university student. Um, I'm going to take that opportunity to point out that, and I'm not, I don't want you to take this as something I'm saying. You, I don't want you to take this in any particular bad way. We did just have a, uh, a student, who, a person who is a freelancer on Legit, who is also a college student, knocked down a $13,000 a month. So my point is not to you, Simo, but to everyone that if you want it bad enough, you can make it happen. Simo says, sorry, Chris, for turning this chat into a private conversation. That's quite all right. It keeps me from having to fill the dead, side, the dead spaces. German Backlink says, is ClickFunnels SEO friendly? Not in my experience. I, First of all, it's slow as I was going to say is something uncouth, but it's very slow. The And I don't know, Google just doesn't seem to like it, you know? Uh, I mean, when was the last time you saw a ClickFunnels page ranking for anything significant? In fact, I know a business that built its entire agency website on ClickFunnels because, well, because another crappy marketer told them that ClickFunnels could do that okay. And it wouldn't even rank for their brand name because it, Google didn't like it. So that was my long shoe answer of, way of answering and saying no. Hector says, can linking to a competitor help at all? It can help your competitor. Uh, I'm not sure how it would help you. Wasslis says, would a referral scheme for services on legit be allowed? For example, I give someone a 50% off code they can give to someone. If they refer someone, they get a free 500 word article for referring. Well, first of all, I wouldn't call anything I want to do a scheme because that has a negative connotation. Um, I mean, if you gave a 1500, a 50% off code, no, I don't see anything wrong with that at all. I think that's per perfectly fine. You're giving away your service at a discount and it's encouraging people to do it. I think that's a great idea. Just don't call it a scheme. <laughs> You're not a cartoon villain, or are you? Aptal says, I really like your life a lot and I watch all your live and then I do it on account. I still don't understand if it's okay to say, if you say a little. First of all, thank you. I really appreciate that. And I, I really do apologize. I don't understand what you're asking me. Uh, if you say a little, uh, I'm really sorry, but I don't, I don't understand the question. Can maybe you or somebody else clarify for me just a little bit? Like, would it be allowed if we make private referral schemes? Sorry, character limit made it harder, right? I, if, it's, if I'm understanding it right, it seems perfectly fine to me. German backlinks says, Wassist, are you German? He says, both English and German. I used to live in Germany. On Friday, we're going to do an evening live stream. We're going to do a freelancer fast lane happy hour along with myself and Jim. And we do that in the evening sometimes because there are other people in the world that it's a better fit for their time zone. So, And the first time we did one that late, we had, um, we had really good turnout. So... Yeah, you didn't understand it fine. Sorry, I wrote that part earlier. Oh, yeah, then that's perfectly fine. I think it's pretty clever, actually. The character limit on YouTube kills me. Says the guy running my Twitter. That doesn't give me a lot of confidence. <laughs> Simo says, Chris, by the way, I discovered it is wa not waslist. It is was wasist. Some German words. 
German Backlink says, Bing updated the Backlink research tool. Did you check it out? No, I've actually never used that tool. I'll have to check it out. Bing, I wish that their algorithm was better because as the search engine itself, I think the features are much, much better than Google. But the, uh, the search algorithm is terrible. So if you Google it, well, not Google, if you Bing, um, is quarantine useless? My site useless quarantine facts comes up number one. And I think it even has their, whatever they call the featured snippet. The referral program could also be a rewards program. He rewards the person who refers someone to him. I think it can be done with a special coupon code. So the provider knows that the new customer could have from one specific person. Oh, there you go. That's a good idea. We, uh, we're actually going to, it's on the drawing board to do some, uh, do, 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 uh, I lost my train of thought. It's on the drawing board to do a referrals program as well. German backlink says now it reports competitor backlinks. I'll have to check it out. That sounds interesting. Amro says a couple days ago, I've noticed a new earnings UI page on legit. It was really amazing. Suddenly it turned back out to the original. When can we expect the update to be rolling out? Uh, we're, almost, we're almost done. We're actually rolled it out a couple times now, but there's still a couple of the numbers we have to get. If the numbers are there, we just, we, we're trying to break them apart in a way that'll still make sense, but it'll be much, much better. It, I'm glad it's cool that you saw it. It's really, really sexy and it's much easier to understand, but the data wasn't displaying the right, right correctly. So it's almost there, but not quite. Yeah, but when you're having a conversation like in messages, then it's horrible. <laughs> German backlinks, it says, of course, Bing isn't that relevant, but it's still useful on a lower scale. Yeah, it's not super relevant, but it's not irrelevant either. Like, if it gets 10% of search traffic, that's still a lot of people, you know? That's not to say that you spend a lot of time on it, but it also said it's not to say that you should ignore it, you know? So, anybody have any marketing specific questions or? Things that you like, not necessarily a question, but a topic you'd like me to speak about or anything like that. I'm going to give away the farm for free. I don't actually have a farm. I can get a farm. This is what happens when there's no comments. I, uh, I ramble. All right, I am officially done sharing the live stream everywhere, and we are already 23 minutes in. Do I have a CSM in my company? I think that means customer service manager. If not, forgive me, I'm terrible with acronyms. I have support people, and one of them is in charge of the others, so I guess that would count. I'm not real big on titles, client success manager. Um, I mean, kind of. Not necessarily. I mean, like I say, I have support people and I have myself and Jim who we do everything to help people that are struggling, whether it's customers or freelancers, but not like a dedicated one. It's kind of, as far as I'm concerned, that's everybody's job, you know? Yeah, on the legit app program, you could make it a $10 CPA commission, but instead of in cash, you'd get an advertising credit. That would be way better. IMO, everyone would make more money. Not a bad idea. The only problem I have with referral programs is yeah, people would abuse it, so we would have to find a way. And as is the case with like everything we do, I we have to find a way to make sure the people that abuse it don't abuse it. You would not believe how much time we have to spend on stuff like that. I just saved that to my shit to look into later file, though. Well, I tried to. There it goes. Hi, on which platform I promote my legit services? All of them. But whatever you have an audience on will help. Uh, you can take advantage of the legit Facebook group. I mean, we got YouTube. You got, it just depends on, uh, first of all, what do you, it depends on what you offer. It depends on where your audience is and things like that. But I mean, anytime as a business owner, you should take any opportunity you have to promote whatever it is you sell, whether it's legit or anywhere else, to promote it in a non-obnoxious way. You know, and what I mean by not obnoxious is, you know, if it's somebody else's platform, follow their rules. But 
Um, yeah, so I hope that that counts. But if you gave an advertising credit, there wouldn't be as many people trying to abuse it, I think. No, you're right. You're right. There wouldn't be as many people interested either, but you're, you're definitely right. <laughs> Jeremy Backling says on MySpace, of course. You laugh, but I used to get traffic from MySpace back in the 2008s. I want to know if the account I did is correctly my account name. Oh, uh, let me see if I can find it. <clears throat> One sec here. I found one person named Uptill, and he just signed up about a week ago. So maybe that's him. Maybe that's you. Let me bring it up, and we can see. No. No. Uh, let's see if this is you or not, buddy. Is that your profile? So that's the only person I can find named Uptel. If if not, it'll, and it's under something else, like uh, let me know, and I'll be happy to look for you. But right now, it doesn't look like you have much filled out aside from the about. So uh, let me know if that's yours. If so, we'll I'll give you some pointers. If not, let me know what is yours, and we'll see what we can do. Glad to help. The legit idea is really great. We don't really have a website like that in Morocco. I'm thinking of building one myself. You can try to compete with me. I'm just kidding. Do what you got to do. Although, be prepared. It's way more work than it looks like. <laughs> uh, Simo or Was, Was Ist says, Simo, you should. I think it would help you get clients. You should definitely have a website of your own for sure. Like my uh, superstar SEO site, unfortunately, doesn't rank for much anymore because I had some uh, penalties because of some people that don't like me. But it looks really good, and it's kind of like a portal to all my other sites and businesses, you know, as is the chrisandwalker.io site. So I, I guess that's my long way of saying I agree. Wasist, or Simo says, Wasist, yeah, for sure. I'm seriously thinking about it. Stealing the market from Chris. Haha, <laughs> come at me, bro. Get ready for competition, Chris. You know what? If I I will never, and I know that you're just joking, but I would never ever worry about competition. You know what? My one of our uh, guiding principles in legit and superstar SEO is that we focus on customers, not competition. That's that's not just a platitude that reads well. It's absolutely true. I could give a crap what Fiverr or Upwork or SEO clerks or any of those other sites are doing, other than maybe like getting ideas. But I don't care. Like, we're going to just do as build as good a marketplace as we possibly can, a good a product, a service as, po as we possibly can. And then we're going to tell people about it. And in the long run, we will do well that way. That should be your approach to anything in life, in my opinion, is to just do it as gr good as you possibly can. And then tell as many people about it as you can in a non obnoxious way. You know, do marketing for an adult. I'm really thinking about turning this into a thing marketing for adults, by the way. And, you know, you'll have success. Create a great product. Tell people about it. Those are kind of the two keys to success in business, in my opinion. Unfortunately, a lot of people get hung up on one or the other. They create a great product and then just assume that that will draw sales to them. Or they create a crappy product and spend new time on it and then just do, the mar do great marketing and sell it. I've literally heard people like Billy Jean say that the product doesn't matter. It's just the marketing behind it, you know? And I mean, obviously it's worked for him because he has, he's done very well for himself, but I think his products are shit personally, at least the, the ones that I have. And um, it, that's, and I think that is reflective of his philosophy on, on market first product second, you know? So there needs to be a balance between the two, in my opinion. So 
And man, I'm just going scorched earth today. I don't know what's got gotten to me. <laughs> uh, CMO says, and that's why you're on your way to being the number one, Chris. Well, thank you. Thank you. Tomislav says, have you tried Nitro Pack? It's a plug-in for improving website speed. No, I haven't. I wonder if Jim is familiar with it. Let's see. Yeah. Charlene says, hi, Chris. Hello, Charlene. Oh, stupid thing. One moment here. That's all we want to do. All right. Well, it won't let me tag Jim or anybody else for that matter. Because why would anything ever work correctly? There we go. If you sell marketing, then marketing is his product. That's why it works. It's maybe working for Billy. Yeah, but he sells training and the training isn't very good. And I think that you should make sure that the product is good. He's not selling marketing. He's selling his courses. And his courses are, in my opinion, not very good. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong. Other people have gotten success with them, and that's great. I just haven't. And I shouldn't say I haven't. I just didn't think that they were very good. And they're nowhere near the amount of talent he has because he's made some fantastic Facebook ads, and he doesn't teach how to do that at all. Jim says, at SEMO, why not become super affiliate and bring all of Morocco on to legit? Never used Nitro Pack myself. I just installed it on Elementor website, and it literally made it super fast. Awesome. Mac says, what's up? Jim says, I, I'm, thank you for tagging me. I never hear anything. Oh, that's why I did it. Thank you. All right. 32 minutes in. I'm going to take a drink. Can you drop some courses that provide good value? Well, yeah, sure. Uh, first of all, mine does. And I'm not ashamed of saying that. I'd be doing a disservice to my customers if I didn't believe that. So you can check that out at learnhowtorank.com. Um, what else? I like some of Frank Kern's courses. What's a good one? Uh, if you're a beginner, his Let's Get Some Sales is very good. If you're a beginner, if not, it's yeah. But uh, his older stuff is still applicable. Um, I took and I took uh, digital marketer. Their uh, digital marketer lab is good. It's a bit unfocused, but it's it's good. It's kind of like uh, the Chinese menu of marketing, you know, like it's a little bit of Facebook ads and a little bit of copywriting and so on. But it's it's a great one to start with. What else? What else? I have so many. Some of Ty Lopez's courses are good. Like the mindset ones are good. The actual tactics ones are not so great. Uh, I'm forgetting somebody. I'll think about it, but those are the ones off the top of my head. Simo says, Jim trying to scam me. Joke, joke. I'd be glad to do that. I've already shared it with a lot of my friends. Awesome. I would share it with a lot of my friends, but I don't have any. No, that's not true. I do have friends. What else? Uh, I've bought so many courses. I'm trying to think. Uh, who else I would even recommend? I think what is missing is a really good Facebook ads course right now because the leaders in that industry don't provide that good, great of a value, at least the ones I've seen. Uh, and an AdWords course is really, really lacking in, in the industry right now. I'm not good enough at them to teach them, but... Wasis says, I recently found Alex Becker's email marketing course on his Twitter. It's been great so far, but now I meditate and have emptied my room. <laughs> Actually, I just should include some of Alex's stuff. His iron course, I'm not in it, but I know what it consists of from other people that are in it, and that's very, very good. It's expensive, but it's good. Some of his past courses are good. You know, Hero Sales Academy and uh, the uh, e-commerce the, the e one, HCOM, is very good. That's that's actually another one, HCOM, if you're into uh, e-commerce. Those are both very good. I've learned a lot from him. I know he gets a lot of crap, and some of the products he put out like way in the past were mm, not so great. 
but most of what he put out puts out is good. And now it's all for free. So Frank Kern rocks. Definitely. Definitely. There's a reason he's been around so long and he's got like that Bill Clinton charisma where he can like, whenever you, and please don't turn this political, but whenever he, you like hear him talk, he, he makes you feel like you've known him forever. That's such a great way to, to sell. Amber says superstar SEO course is great. Instructors are super knowledgeable and caring. Highly recommended. I've been in it from the beginning. Well, thank you, Amber. It's always nice to hear. And I am, of course, going to save that. And we are caught up on questions, so I'm going to take a drink while you guys re chamber, reload, put more in the chamber, get more ready. All right. Anything else we'd like to talk about today? Have, have I burned enough bridges yet? <laughs> I usually don't like to name names like that, but it's just really the fake marketer stuff has really been irritating me lately. My LinkedIn inbox is just a, a disaster. Like, I don't know how that platform still exists because they allow so much automation. They allow people to scrape your email. Like I know they don't want you to, but it's pretty obvious because I'll occasionally get emails from people that are, I don't have my email address on there and they'll still find my email and Uh, Amro says a roadmap for legit updates would make it super motivational. So here's the thing. I wouldn't necessarily have a problem with putting out things that we intend to put out, but I don't like to give out dates because things come up and if we miss dates, it makes us look bad. And well, frankly, people will keep at PMing me about it, you know? So that's not a bad idea. We may put out like a list of what th things we are working on, but I'm never going to give out a date on when something is going to be ready because, well, I don't like to let people down. And the only way I can 100% not do that is to, uh, lost my train of thought, is to not give out the dates. So that's my, my take on that. Jim says dropping two new offerings in the next week. Pretty pumped for them. Awesome. Awesome. I don't even know what those are. So that's cool. Wasist says Alex Vegger's hero tower market hero, email marketing funnel and copy courses and stuff that he used to sell for like 2k or on his Twitter for free. If anybody wants them, uh, well, that's cool. Craig says, how's your arm doing? Don't seem to be struggling as bad. It's almost there. Like still a little stiffness, but overall I'm back, back in business. German backlink says my content on LinkedIn went viral many times. Awesome. I mostly have a problem with, I mean, the interface on LinkedIn, I think could use some work, but my main problem with LinkedIn isn't so much the content that people post like posts or uh, like the blog post, whatever they call it, LinkedIn pulse. It's the direct messages that are just automated that just, it's so obvious. And it's so like, for the most part, it's people in my same industry trying to sell me the things that I already sell. I just don't get it. And it just attracts so many amateurs that have no clue what they're doing. Like I have, I get, cause on the internet, I'm known as Chris M. Walker. And um, so it, it, LinkedIn doesn't give you a spot to put a middle initial. So I put my first name as Chris M just because I wanted it to, you know, be consistent. And I get so many of them that say, Hey, Chris M. I was just checking out your profile and I see that you work at company. You know what I mean? It's just so amateur. And then they try to sell me SEO or consulting or whatever. And I'm like, if you took two seconds to like personalize this, it would be so much better. What happened to your arm? Uh, a few weeks ago, I did something. I don't really know what, but it was giving me a lot of pain, like in my arm and upper back and my neck. It's almost better though. Exactly. Even without dates, it would be amazing for users to just know what's next. Cool. And you can also check on the, uh, the suggestion board. That'll give you a good idea of what, you know, uh, German Backlink says you can go live on LinkedIn as well. You should keep an eye on it. You know, I applied for that a long time ago and never heard anything about it. I wonder if everyone can do it now. If so, I'm going to see if uh, if I can find a way to incorporate that. <laughs> German Backlink says Ty Lopez told him to do it that way. Yeah, I'm sure he did. I know that Sam Ovens teaches that crap too. So 
And to be fair, I have a, and I'm removing it soon, but in Superstar SEO Academy, I have a automated LinkedIn sequence in there as well. So, you know, I've learned since then. So I need to update that with, for my students as well. I'm not perfect. I've made mistakes. That's one of them. And to be perfectly fair too, I've gotten, I've had success with LinkedIn in the past messages, but I just don't like the automation now because I, first of all, there's so much of it and like, it's so poorly done most of the time. But yeah, you're right. The, at least Ty Lopez and Sam Ovens both teach that. Oh, that's good. Your arm being better. Yeah, I'm almost there. I mean, it was never like a bad thing, but you know. Durgesh says, thanks for your previous answer. I have one more. Can I rent GMB page without having a website? I've seen it done. So yes, the, the short answer is yes, but the I wouldn't. Like it's a website is so easy to set up and so inexpensive now. There's no reason not to throw one up, you know. But I have seen it happen, so the uh, ha the answer has to be yes. About time for a shave, I think. All right, guys, we are forty plus minutes into this thing. Great session today. I'm really liking the current schedule. Monday. Wednesday and Friday, I think is what we're going to stick with. That way I don't get as burned out. And you guys, if you have other things that come up, you know, and you don't, you have time to build up like some things to talk about, you know? So I think that's what we're going to do from now on, at least for the time being. I know that on Friday, we've got Jim on. We're going to be on at 9 PM doing freelancer fast lane happy hour. Although it's not really happy hour at nine o'clock, no matter where you are in the world. Um, and then the Following Monday, I haven't 100% confirmed it yet, but we're going to have Rohin Dua on. He's going to talk to us about SEO and freelancing. Haven't confirmed that 100%. And then the Monday after that, we're going to have my good friend Ron Valderrama, who owns and founded and literally coded uh, an online like Roku channel slash streaming service. And he's got a really interesting entrepreneurial story that I think a lot of you will find valuable. So that's what's coming up. And now I have some more questions, so I don't have to babble as much. Wasis says, yeah, some other terrible SMMA course I bought a long time ago, suggested that LinkedIn thing as well ev after everyone suggested it, but in a $500 upsell, glad I didn't buy it. <laughs> yeah. Jim says, I vote rock a beard. Well, this isn't a democracy. German backlink says, do you go to the right tonight? I need a new flat screen. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. <laughs> uh, Charlene says, I get a lot of requests for LinkedIn message sequences on the platform and off, and they insist that their new connection is a warm lead. Always say no. I have been teaching people how to use LinkedIn since 2008, and this still isn't a good way to do it. Automated sales messaging. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how they keep going. Like, Facebook used to have these same kinds of issues and, you know, everybody wants to bag on Facebook, but their platform is remarkably difficult to do stuff like that on. So LinkedIn really needs to learn from them. You know what I also don't like on LinkedIn is that if I make a post, I can't just go to my profile and see my posts like you can on literally every other platform ever. It's, I know you can find it, but it's very well hidden in on LinkedIn to find the posts and things that you've made or that other people have made. Like I found one, I saw, I saw one that my friend Craig made recently and I wanted to, I didn't catch it before it refreshed and I wanted to go to his profile and see what he had to say. Craig Griffiths, great guy, by the way. And I couldn't find it. So I'm like, well, this is dumb. This was actually right a little bit a while ago. That's why I, I included that. Well, one of the reasons. Boseo says, how do citations work for affiliate websites? Does one need a GMB to do citations for an affiliate website? And, the only reason you would do citations for an affiliate website is because they're a high authority link. If you don't have a physical address though, you really don't need citations. So if you're not selling stuff out of a storefront, you probably don't need citations and you definitely should not do a GMB if it's not a real business. Oops. Mohammed says, Hey Chris, I'm a friend of Adam Hamir, Mahir Hamoud and I've launched my service recently. Would you like to give me some advice to how to start pe making people know about my service, how to bring clients and stuff like that? I'd be honored to. First of all, if you can let me know your username, we'll take a look at your profile. But other things that you can do are show up on Friday for the Freelancer Fastlane Happy Hour. On Mondays, you can post your stuff in the Legit Facebook group. You can, on, you can go in there right now and post it for consideration in the weekly roundup. Um, what other options do we have? We have some paid advertising spots. You can show up to live streams like this and have me 
review your, you review your profile. And if you're a good friend of Adams, Adams had quite a bit of success. So ask him what's worked for him. You know, just uh, borrow experience from everyone. Yeah, but dude, if you want to tell me your username or drop a link to your profile, we'll look at it right now. Charlene says LinkedIn was awesome until Microsoft purchased it in 2016. Then changes started and now it's a mess. It is a mess. You know, another thing that I find confusing about it is they have like four or five different levels of, of paid uh, membership. And I don't have a problem with like paid membership, but it's confusing on what you get with which level and, and so on. They really need to, some basic UI fixes. They need to man, manage spam better. They need to streamline their paid processes and they need to make a better advertising interface. So if they were to hire me as a consultant, those would be some of the things that I discussed with them. Wasla says, watched the first half of the stream with second yesterday as I was late and missed it originally, but it was really nice, interesting, and some great info. Yeah, that was a really well-received stream, and he, he really had some interesting stuff to say. He's a good dude. I was surprised by it. I won't say that, but he he's uh, I learned some stuff about him and from him that I didn't know going into it as well. So I also was shocked at how young he is because I've known him since like the source market days from at least 2016. So my username is Galal and this is the link to his profile. All right, let me, uh, let me grab that. <laughs> Trying to get that affiliate link in there. I see. Hey, mad at you. So let's bring this up on the screen because it's good for me to keep legit on the screen. So that all right, Galal. You, I know that's your real name, and that's cool. I, I might think about coming up with a brand name because that might be a little catchier. Good picture of yourself. You're you're smiling and stuff. Hi, I'm Galal, a freelance web designer. I can develop or create any type of website for your personal use or for any kind of business. I put thought and heart into every web design project. I strive for a design that's user friendly and beautiful and make sure that my clients is completely satisfied. Well, that's good. Uh, WordPress website design services. I might add a, a colorful word to the beginning of that blazing hot WordPress web design cert or something like that, just to make it a little snappier, you know, uh, lead gen local business and e-commerce professional websites. That's fine. The thumbnail looks good. I want to clean this up to where the bullets are lined up properly. need to get some examples of past work in there, whether it's a screenshot or whatever. Other than that, I think it's priced well. That's an actually a great deal for a, a five page website. I'm sure you do great work. So those are the things I would change. Overall, it looks good. You have good information, but you need to get some pictures of your work in there so people will know that what, it, what they expect, you know? Those are kind of the main things I would look for or would look to adjust. So the username and fix the bullet, the way the bullets look here, and then get uh, get some examples of your work in there. But overall, I think you're doing good, dude. And then you just got, once you get those things fixed, you just get some eyeballs on it. Wait, an affiliate link to your own service? Surely you don't actually make any added profit then? No, but what you will do is, first of all, you'll cookie other people to you that way. And then you will also make sure that if somebody is cookie to someone else, that they won't, uh, that, they, that you'll get the full amount. We got a question from Stephen Floyd. Stephen says, I love how these jack wagons think we are stupid enough to not see what they are doing. I'm a marketer, mother effer. Why do you think I created this group in the first damn place? Man, I wish I could bring that up on screen. But yes, thank you, Stephen. That's exactly what I'm talking about. As a matter of fact, I am going to bring that up on screen even though I'm going to have to get a little creative with it. <laughs> Boom, there it is, Stephen Floyd, <laughs> one of the people I learned SEO from. I love how these jack wagons think we are, let me remember we lost this question. These jack wagons think we're stupid enough to see, not see what they're doing. I'm a marketer, mother effer. Why do you think I created this group in the first damn place? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> 
Dragesh says, thanks. What criteria to choose best post from weekly roundup? There's not really a ton. Like if you have a really great coupon or discount or something like that, we weigh that pretty heavily. We try not to use the same person two weeks in a row because we want to give as many people as possible a chance. And then it needs to be a decent looking sales page because you're representing legit when you do that. So if your sales page looks crappy, we can't really suggest that to the audience, you know? So those are kind of the main things. I get someone else on the team to look at that for me because I don't want to favor people I know, which I wouldn't do on purpose, but you know, I'm human. So those are kind of the main things, a great discount or something unique about the service that will really bring benefit to it or to show off some things that legit, unlegit that people might not know that we have and a nice looking sales page that, um, that a nice looking sales page that will make legit look good. So those are the kind of the things you want to look out for. I don't believe I've ever seen, and I, if I'm wrong, please forgive me, but I don't believe I've ever seen you post on it before. So throw your service on there for sure. Uh, waslet, wast ist. I'm just going to keep saying waslet. So sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing I turned off it. There's a reason that I don't usually like to show a Facebook on a live stream. And one of my friends just sent me a message that had I done that, we'd all be laughing about right now. So the timing there was great. <laughs> oh boy. I know that you're not even on the joke, but it's funny. Uh, what's this it says, right? Haha, I didn't know that. Uh, Mohammed says, thank you, Chris. We'll definitely start implementing and working on this. Cool, dude. And the next time I need like a quick website designed, I'll, I'll shoot you an order so we can, uh, we can get you going. I, I'm trying to think if I need any right now. I can't think of any, but. Thomas Lav says, seeing Steven brings back memories from Becker's first course. It actually wasn't Becker's first course, but yeah, uh, his, uh, from Source University. That's where I first, actually Source Phoenix was where I first met Steven. Well, not met, but knew of Steven from. And I mean, I've developed my own way of doing SEO, but like some of the, the principles definitely come from him. So I'm not ashamed to admit that at all. I'm here says, Hey, Chris, great to see you again. Hey, you too, buddy. Glad you can make it. Always a pleasure. And we are 53 minutes in and we're caught up on questions. So hopefully I haven't pissed off too many people in the industry today. I just, you know, I think that some, at some point I have, I need, I, I need to stop biting my tongue on certain things, you know? And I really think that it does a disservice to people to have people charging, you know, like, like put it this way. I'm in a pretty good position in my business where if I invested five grand in something and it didn't work out, I'm going to be okay. A lot of people that could really like hurt them and affect their life. And if you're selling something at that price point and you're not like hundred percent sure what to do or to, how to fulfill it, you are being an unethical business person and you shouldn't do it. Do you design affiliate websites? I assume that's for Mohammed, right? If so, then I would imagine yes. But Mohammed, uh, that's a, that's a question for you, buddy. Amir says, "Hey, Chris, do you have a gaming PC?" I do have a gaming PC. I don't actually do any gaming. It's uh, uh, what's it called? You know what? I can look in Best Buy. Yeah, I, both of my I have the same one at home and in my office. And I bought a gaming PC because the, I don't really, despite having two degrees in information technology, I really don't know much about computers anymore. So I just went and bought the one with the best stats that they had available at the time. And the one that looked, I'm not going to lie, it looks cool too. So let me see if I can sign into my account and tell you what I've got here. I'm really happy with it though. Like when I see other people use their computer or even when I use my crappy laptop at home, I'm just, it's not even crappy. It's, it's okay. But uh, I'm just amazed at how slow they are compared to it too.
gaming was something I really used to be into, even as an adult, but I just, I'm not anymore, and I wish I was, if that makes any sense. Yeah, so let me, let me go ahead and show that and show you what I got right here. So it's an iBuyPower gaming desktop, Intel, Score, something, 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 something. And I think I have my keyboard. I want to show that off too, if that's in here. Uh, no, I guess not. But yeah, you can see I bought a lot of crap at Best Buy, but yeah, I have two of those. So that's, that's my, uh, my computer. We got a game sometime. Let me uh, let me turn this off. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I really don't. I, I love gaming, but I just I can't seem to stay still for it long enough. You know, I used to be a number one for a game mode on Black Ops Three. I used to be an addict, <laughs> but honestly, that's the reason that I kind of stay away from it. Not to get all Becker on you. <laughs> but and, I'm sorry, something else funny just happened. But uh, <laughs> now, why can I not? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted now. <laughs> um, oh, that's why I don't like to do gaming too much because. I know that I want to just go home and not do any work, you know, instead of like, and just, you know, grind as opposed to like doing my job. And when like, when it was just me, it wasn't so bad, but you know, now I have, you know, a dozen employees and thousands of freelancers who in, who's in, not to be dramatic, but <laughs> whose income depends on me. So like, I can't not be focused, you know? That's one of the things, and not to get off on yet another tangent, but that's one of the things that keeps me motivated now is how many people depend on me. All right, guys, we got about two minutes left. Any last minute questions or thoughts or comments or concerns or other synonyms for questions that you'd like me to get into before we laugh uh, and i can't stop now <laughs> before uh we wrap it up you're right thomas love i am gonna start laughing <laughs> you know that's good though i think the world needs a little bit of laughter right now i know i certainly do things are things are rough for almost everybody at the moment so a little bit of humor in your day probably Probably isn't the worst thing. Laughter is the best medicine after all. That and melatonin. Scott just gave the, uh, the stream a heart because he and I actually coined the term value adders uh, quite a long time ago <laughs> because he can't stand that crap either. <laughs> I'm really thinking about turning marketing into to adult marketing for adults into like a video series or a podcast or something like that. Cause I think that there is a market for it. See what I did there. Mohammed and he, he's talking to Baseo there. Uh, please DM me to discuss your project. There you go. It's unfair to laugh alone. Well, I wouldn't want to be unfair. So go ahead and start laughing with me and not at me because I've had both. Amir says, thanks, Chris, you have created a great platform. Well, thank you very much. That means to me more than to me than you might know. We, uh, we literally put, like, I was dealing with things, not dealing, I shouldn't say dealing, but I was doing things at like four o'clock this morning after having gone to bed at like one and I'll be at it, you know, until late tonight. And that's the kind of effort that Jim and myself and the rest of the legit team, George A and Ahmed and Jessica and everybody else put into it. So very, uh, very appreciative that other people are getting value from it. So, and there's nothing greater that you can do in the world than help somebody else. So I'm glad that I'm glad that it helps other people. And whenever I get messages telling me how much they appreciate it or how much it's helped them, 
it really means means a lot to me. So thank you very much. Uh, I think that's a great note to end on. Uh, stay safe out there. Stay, stay sane and stay happy and figure out what you want out of life and go out and get it because you owe it to yourself and you owe it to the world. I'll talk to you again soon.